and welcome back to my channel of Universe TV. Um, today I did a little bit of a, of a thrift store adventure. I went to the thrift stores in the bigger town near me, just tried to see what I could find for spooky Halloween stuff. So I figured some people are on a budget and they need to be able to find cheaper alternatives. Let's just go ahead and uh, dive right in because I got plenty of stuff to show you and then I think everything still has the price tags on it. So I went to two thrift stores, thrift stores. I went to Goodwill and I didn't find very much at Goodwill. The whole point of today's trip was for me to find a dress for my Halloween costume. I'm planning on being Merida. I tried to find a dress online and every single one was shipped out way too far. Straight up. No. I don't want to play. Go lay down. Nope. Go lay down. Yeah, I tried to find a dress online but everything would ship after Halloween or it was like insanely expensive. So a Merida adult costume is like $70. It's ridiculous. Let me just go ahead and show you what I picked up at Goodwill. So first from Goodwill, I got this cute little sign. Can you please stop? If I click my heels three times, will you disappear? Yeah, Shreya. If I click my heels three times, will you disappear? Thank you for the kisses. Now go lay down. Go lay down. No, I don't want to play. This was $4.88, which is actually a little bit more expensive than I would expect. Goodwill, I feel like, has gotten pricier over the years. So, like, I remember you used to go in there and like everything was like two dollars or less you know so now it's not the case a lot of things like there was like um sure stop there was like spider webs like you know those like cotton spider webs that people put out for halloween decorations or whatever those were there and you can pick those up at walmart for like 98 cents or something like that a bag of them for like 98 cents and they were charging two dollars it's just I got a couple of these jars that I'm probably gonna end up using for spells or something like that. So that's the whole reason why I picked them up. So I paid $1.88 for each one of these. And that's all that I got from Goodwill. I could not find anything else to save the life of me. Everything else was like, like stuff that they actually get shipped to every single Goodwill store. That was like brand new stuff. It wasn't like thrifty things. So everything was like full price. It wasn't worth it. And then I went to the store in Eastern Iowa called Stuff's Etc. Is this little store that was based actually, I think in East or in um, Iowa City is the original one. Yeah, so I found quite a few cute little things at Stuff's, it was pretty nice. So I got this guy, I think I'm gonna figure out a way to attach him to my car. I don't know yet, we'll see, we'll see what happens. I like him. I think he glows in the dark, but I'm not 100%. He looks like he would glow in the dark. He looks kind of greenish. So we'll just have to see. But his arms move. His legs are all wobbly. His legs are actually backwards right now. I don't know if I can fix that. The feet move. That's what it was. It wasn't the legs. It was the feet. Also, all their Halloween things were 30% um, off. So that was pretty nice. So he was $1.99 full price. So I don't know how much I paid. Somebody do the math. I don't know. I don't need that. And then I got this little spider candle holder. It's pretty cute. It's got some glittery, sparkly things on it. So this was 99 cents. So this ended up being 70 cents, you know? This is probably my favorite find of the day. So I found this super neat, super creepy skeleton candle holder. So I like him. I like him a lot. I don't know where he's going to go yet, but we'll figure it out. And then I paid $5.99 for this. I feel like it was definitely worth that. It's pretty nice though. I got this cute little witch. It's got, I don't know if you can see that. There you go, that's better. It's got like witches and like a haunted house and ghosts and things on it. It's a candle holder and then it's got a star cut out shape on the top. It's pretty cute, I really liked it. So I almost didn't grab this, but then it just like, it kept calling to me. So I had to get it. And then I paid $1.99 for this. I don't know where exactly this is gonna go. It definitely doesn't really fit my aesthetic, but it's cute. So I couldn't really say no. So this is a bat wind chime. As you 
pig in here. It's kind of weird. I mean, he almost looks like an owl. It said bat, but it almost looks like an owl. To, but either way, I like it. And I paid $1.99 for this. And then I got a bucket for my Halloween tree. Um, we are still doing trick or treating in the town that I live in. The town board people decided that we were doing it still. So that's happening. And I actually have Halloween off. This I paid 99 cents for. This is this cute little witch's hat. I think it, it's supposed to be a candle. Yeah, it's supposed to be a candle holder. But it's so cute. Look at it. This is actually a Yankee Candle brand candle holder. So I don't know how much these normally retail for, but probably, at least probably, I would pick like 10 to $15. And I paid $1.99 for it. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's super cute. It still has all the Yankee Candle stickers on it too. So I could probably look it up to see exactly how much it normally retails for. I got this weird little cute pumpkin. It's got like a Victorian-esque uh, cut out on it. That's a witch's, uh, witch's like, uh, what is that word? Silhouette, a witch's silhouette. That's just a black pumpkin. It's pretty cute though. And I paid $1.99 for this. Also. I got a big bag of plastic cauldrons. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. But I just, I just really enjoyed them. Maybe I'll end up storing some spell things in here or something. But yeah, it's just a bunch of little plastic cauldrons. So they're pretty cute though. And the handles work. The handles do move. Sorry, get your nose out of here. So yeah, the handles move. Paid $3.99 for this bag of plastic cauldrons. We're almost done, I think. Besides the dresses, this is the last thing that I picked up. This is gonna be a short video. This might be my shortest video yet. Oh, I forgot about this. This is another Yankee Candle candle holder. Um, I paid 99 cents for this one. Let's see how much it was originally. Originally it was $6.99. I still got the price tag on it. It's pretty cute. It's got like, it's frosty glass. It's got like a haunted house on one side and then a spooky tree and there's bats and witches and pumpkins and scary cats and things like that. So it's pretty cute though and I, I really like it. A lot of candle things. So these are the dresses that I picked up. This dress is very navy colored and I know her dress is more of a teal color. So they're just like these long sleeved maxi dresses, full length, floor length. And um, all the costumes I saw online looked very navy blue. And I know her dress is more greenish, tealish colored, but I don't know, if I do it up right, I feel like I can um, pull it off, no problem. I did order a bow and arrow off of Amazon and that should be here hopefully next week sometime. That'll pull it all together, obviously. And then I got, I ordered this off of Amazon, this came today. It's like just some gold, um, what does it say? Gold braid trim. I'm probably just gonna hot glue this on to the dress somewhere. But this I feel like is too green. Like this is a very like army green. Probably post an update of my costume and how that's going when I start it. I'm probably gonna do that next week sometime. I stopped at Dollar Tree. Who doesn't love Dollar Tree? I got some candles. These, I, these are more of a, they're the votive candles. They're just plain white candles, but they're the taller ones. They're not like a, a, a tea light candle. I wanted kind of a taller one, just make things a little bit more dramatic. And then I got one big red candle for my skull friend, my skull hand guy over here. You can't see the pumpkin, it's too dark. <laughs> this corner probably is my favorite now. It looks so good. All the candles are at different heights too, so it looks really good. I love it. That's where that ended up. Right by the front door. Front door. Yay, it looks so cute. It looks so spooky. Also, side note, I think I'm gonna end up keeping my little skeleton hand guy out year round because I love him, so. He's just so cute. Look at him over there. Look, it's so cute. Oh, I also forgot to show you guys. There's where Mr. Owl or Batty or whatever the hell he is went. Yay, thrifting for Halloween. Yay. Yeah, that was my spooky Halloween thrift haul. 
So I hope that um, if you guys get a chance, go ahead and check out your local, like your Goodwills or any um, small town thrift stores would be great. Make sure you support local stores. I had a few more things planned to get on this day, but I, I woke up like an hour late. So I didn't. I got all this stuff and I paid like 40 bucks for everything. Definitely worth it. Make sure you go check out your, your local thrift stores and then any, um, or like the Wills or anything like that. Um, and give it a try and see. They probably have sales going on right now, so now is the perfect time to go. And just get in that last minute Halloween decoration, shopping, whatever. That's all I got for you today. So I think next week I will probably be doing a video on Samhain, which is uh, the pagan holiday for Halloween. I'll probably be doing another one like I did with Mab on. Next week it's Matt's birthday also, it's on the 22nd. So we are gonna be celebrating that and I'm hoping that I can get the video done and up so that way it's posted on the 23rd. So make sure you wish Matt a happy birthday. That's all I got for you today. If you like me and you like what you see, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and we'll see you in my next video. Bye!